on guys it's Lexi welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'm finally filming my long-awaited furnished apartment tour a few months ago if you want to see the whole process of me moving out and watch the series you could click right here or you could click in the link in the description box also if you want to know where I got stuff from if you want links to anything from Amazon check the description box I'm gonna try my best to link everything 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 down below let's get into the apartment tour right here where you guys are is the entryway the stairway to my apartment and coming in is my kitchen i had the option to get a white cabinet kitchen or a charcoal cabinet and i own charcoal my sister has white and some days i wish i did right here on my counters i just have an air fryer you know house things i have lots and lots of counter space which is something i'm really happy about with this particular apartment this apartment style has like the most counter space and like the biggest kitchen i think right here just have like a little window seal with some plants <coughs> ceramics then right here i have all of my utensils for when i'm chefing it up in the kitchen because you know i'm a chef then i have this microwave so i can microwave all my microwavable meals because i'm not really a chef here we have a stove and an oven you know complete with the whole package i have my knife set and then this is my little baby pantry my pantry is kind of small but i don't eat that much so it's perfect for me moving on this is my fridge Growing up in my parents' house, I don't even think our fridge was magnetic. So we didn't like stick stuff on the fridge. So I definitely wanted to fill up my fridge with a bunch of pictures and magnets because I don't know, why not? This is one of my favorite parts of the apartment. These shelves are from Nathan James. And I love this because if you guys follow me this way, over here in my big mirror, this mirror is from Wayfair, it's huge. Uh, but I love the bookshelf over here because when I take pictures right here, it's cute. It's a vibe. So I decided to decorate my shelf with, of course, my YouTube plaques, thanks to you. I have a few dead plants that I literally cannot keep alive. Some statues. I have some goby lights. I have goby lights all throughout my apartment just because they really help set a cool vibe, especially when it's nighttime. I have some of my favorite books right here that I like to read. Some more books right here. This is like a game changer. This is the Sonos Move, y'all. I listen to all my music through this i have some decorative books this marble tray is from target that i used for my keys and then these little decorative baskets as well as these candlesticks are from west elm however the cute little luminara candles on top are from Party barn and that's the shelf let's go into my living room i love the fact that my living room is kind of just you go right into it from the kitchen. If you can tell by the vibe of my apartment by now, I was trying to go for a mid-century modern kind of vibe and I think I really did a good job. I was not gonna stop until it looked mid-century modern, so. Moving on, we have my entertainment console. This entertainment center is from West Elm and I really like it because it is just perfect to fit all of my records and you guys know I have a pretty lengthy record collection and I had to have a place for them, so. I was really happy when I found this. However, when it got to my apartment, when it first delivered, I was super scared of the color. It was not the color I expected it to be. It is like an acorn, warm brown. It's a little red, it's got a little red in it. Um, and I was a little nervous because I did not think that was the color, but it worked out because I was able to tie this color in with like this chair. These chairs are from Wayfair and I'm really happy I got them. They're like a boucle you know, a little side chair and the arms tie in really well with the entertainment center. So I'm really happy that I went with these chairs because I almost didn't put a chair here, which would have looked dumb. Right here we have this lamp. It's from Target. Here is my little side table next to my couch. I have this cute picture of my face on it. This side table as well as my coffee table is from Wayfair. Um, and I just have these little baskets and a, a remote tray right here to keep stuff in order. Then here's my couch. Y'all, it took so long to find a couch that I wanted. I went through 
so many couches. I finally found the one I wanted at University Furniture here in Huntsville. And I was really, really happy about it because although the first couch I had got from them was the wrong color, I was able to get the right color and it really looks good, I think. This couch is performance fabric and it's a Mayo furniture couch, so it should hold up pretty good. Mayo is supposed to be a good couch brand. And as you can see, it's a pretty light color couch, so I definitely wanted to go with the performance fabric for this because y'all know me, I'm gonna mess that shit up. Okay, on the couch, you see I got these really nice pillows, probably like, I was gonna say one of my favorite, but I just love everything. Everything's my favorite. So my brown cozy teddy bear texture pillows as well as my gray linen pillows are both from Pottery Barn. They look really good, I can't lie. Also, I forgot to show you guys my bar stools. These are my bar stools. I could fit three under my bar. These are from West Elm and the color Saddle. Yeah, so more brown tied into the crib. All right, so moving into my dining room. Right behind my couch, I have this waterfall table. I got this black waterfall table from Wayfair and this was, this whole thing was my mom's idea to have like a little table behind my couch that you could sit at. Look at these cute stools. These, I actually got these from Target. Y'all, they're so perfect. They fit perfectly in the space. It's the perfect color and it helps tie in that brown that I told y'all I was not sure how it's gonna tie into the place. What I like about this is that I can eat my messy food, still enjoy the game, the whatever's on the TV, and not mess up my white couch. Um, yeah, that was kind of the whole purpose of this. Also, it just doubles as extra seating when I have company, friends, whoever, they can have somewhere to sit. On top of that, I have two books. I have this Ultimate History of Mercedes-Benz and a Classic Cars book. Um, on top of that, I got my Audi R8. I'm gonna have you in real life one day. I have this marble bowl tray from Target. It serves no purpose. And then these vases right here, they're from Kirkland. I'm not sure where the shrubbery is from. Moving on to my dining room table. I got all of these um, chairs from Amazon. Really happy with this find. They they work really well. Um, there's like a It's like a light cream color. I don't really know. I'm not gonna lie though. When I ordered these, it came with brown legs. They were supposed to come with black but the legs were brown. Shout out to my auntie Delicia for painting them for me because they would have looked a little weird with brown legs. On top of the table, the table I got from Target, I had these wooden chargers from Kirkland's and I love them. This centerpiece is like a little moss guy. He's also from Kirkland's. I think this, I think this is real. It looks really cool. I got this from Kirkland's, it's so heavy, but it looks cool. Moving on to these two consoles behind my dining room table are from Nathan James. Absolutely love these. Love the texture of them. It's like a cane texture. And it also, it doubles as just so much extra storage. You guys, I have so much stuff in front. Of me. On top of this, I have a few of my favorite cars. We have a Gallardo, a Ventador, a Skyline, a Cobra, and this looks like a C6. A Corvette. Right here, I have these three candlesticks so that I can walk in at night. These are from Pottery Barn, both the stick and the candle. And I like these, they're battery powered and they, they're a nice little nightlight when the house is asleep. Right above that, I have these pictures from Kirkland and they really help tie in the space. Got this right here from Amazon. It's this little light, I really like it, but I'm not gonna lie, I might change it out because I went to my parents' house and I went to my mom's, where she had that lamp? I went to my mom's house somewhere. She had this really nice lamp from Amazon. So made her buy me one and I'll put it right here because it looks really nice. Moving on, I have these two vases. Um, I think these are actually from Target. I have these grasses so I can fan the Prince of Egypt. That's my dining room. Now you enter this little hallway. This is like where I live, my little suite where I actually do my living um, and sleeping. Right here is my laundry room. She's a beaut. This is my laundry room. I have a full washer and a dryer. Like, blessed are those with a dryer. Imagine having to hang dry my clothes. Got a washer and dryer. I'm really happy about it. It's, yeah, it's a washer and dryer shit. I don't know. It's a laundry room. This is where I keep my vacuum, you know, my cleaning stuff, broom. I have this stool. Got this stool from Home Goods, y'all. And this thing comes in handy because who can reach up here? So, yeah, this is where I do all. My laundry. When I first moved in here, my parents don't know this, but when I first moved in here, I thought that my um, I thought my laundry didn't work because I never emptied this, and my my dryer stopped drying, 
And when I first emptied this, y'all wouldn't believe the amount of lead that was on it. It was a lot. Like, I don't know how I didn't cause a fire. So yeah, um, here's a reminder to take the lint out of the lint catcher. Moving on. Now, coming this way through the hallway, we have my bathroom. So, this is my bathroom, probably one of my absolute favorite parts of this whole apartment. I've never had an apartment this, I mean, I've never had a, I've never had an apartment in my life. I never had a bathroom this big, so having all this space, it includes things just for me to brush my teeth is kind of crazy. Please ignore this light. Um, I just use it to film because it's really dark in here. Is that better? Her. So right here on my bathroom counter, this is just where I keep all of my you know daily products that I use basically every single day. Have a little candle right here so that when I have guests and their booty stink when they come use the bathroom, it won't stink that bad. Then here is just drawers. You know, if you guys want to see in depth how I organize all of my bathroom, you can click in the description box below for that video. Coming over here, this is just my pooper, and I have some. Hand towels, we got my Dyson, I've never used. And shower, of course. And then this is actually a piece of my um, whole bathroom I really like because it's really nice. I can fold my towels. I have my exfoliating glove right here. I got everything I need for my shower to be perfect. So if you wanna see my video where I put my whole bathroom together and did all of this, then you can go watch that. Coming to my room. So this is my slumber chamber and this is where I sleep every day. First right here we have my dresser. This dresser is from West Elm um, and I love it. On top of it, I have my Squishmallow Comet collection. My mom literally got me all these Squishmallows for Christmas and I had to put them in here because I thought they were cute. They weren't supposed to stay like this, but don't they look like they belong here? Yes. I have a little jewelry tree to hang my jewelry on. This is kind of what I wear every day. I have this little tray with even more jewelry, another candle. Over here, I've got this lamp. I took this from my home, my parents' house, and I got this from Amazon. I had it in my room. And below that, I have all of these squishmallows. Y'all, I don't understand when I had when I got all of these, but I just have a lot now. Then I have this A, above that I have a clock, the cord fell out, but it's still a clock. Moving on to my desk, this is where I try my best to do all of my homework, any work that I have to do. I really have been trying to just sit at my desk and do it so that I can get familiar with this being a place where I study or get work done or just be focused in general. On the wall, I have a little calendar. I have my Lexi V neon sign right above that. And then on the shelf above my computer, I have a dead plant. This is so embarrassing. And I have this cute little um, teddy bear of pink roses that I got for Valentine's Day. I have this little girl boss sign, cause girl, we bosses. And then a picture frame with no picture. Below that, we just have my computer, my iMac some computer stuff. This desk is also from West Elm, as well as the dresser and the nightstand. It's all a little set. I have, you know, stuff in here for living. This is my desk chair. Uh, it took me a few tries to get a good desk chair as well. This desk chair is from Wayfair. So happy I found this though, because it rolls, I can spin, and it's the perfect size. I don't know what was that other desk chair I had that had no wheels on the bottom. like. I never seen a desk chair with no wheels on it. So, had to replace that. Between this wall and my desk, I found this organizer from Home Goods, I believe, and it's just perfect for like knickknacks, basically trash. And when I say trash, I just mean like all my junk. Um, above that, I keep my makeup, this little mirror, and I also do my makeup in this place, in this section of my room as well. So yeah, I just have everything where I need it. This is my lovely bed. I love this bed. When I was moving here, I knew I wanted a queen bed. I've lived my whole life having like a full-size bed, which you know is big enough for me, but I really wanted a queen-size bed, so I got that. This is a diamond sofa cloud bed. I'll have it linked down below if you're interested, but it's a platform bed. There's no legs, it's just on the floor. As you can tell, like it's pretty short compared to me. I mean, I'm also pretty short, but it's pretty low to the ground, which is really what I wanted to go for. All of my bedding is from Target, Casa Luna bedding. I love Casa Luna and it's the best bedding in the world. These decorative pillows that I use to just kind of, you know, add some spice to the bed are from West Elm. And this 
lovely knit blankets is Target Casaluna as well. So yeah, look at look at that. Beautiful. Oh wow. These pictures are the best pictures in my house, in my opinion, because they really, really tie this space together really well. These are from Target. I can't believe I found these at Target. But look really good. Over here is my nightstand. I have a shelf above my nightstand. We have some finger hearts. Um, these little stones, an amethyst, these little turtles. And below that is just my nightstand table, which is also from West Elm in the same collection. With this lamp, I got this lamp from Target. You guys know I've had this for a long time in a lot of my videos. And then I just have this jewelry box right there. On the wall, I have this little, this is a macrame wall hanging dec decor. This is my closet, it's kind of messy. So we won't spend all day in here. Where's my closet? It's Whoa. fully walkable. Yeah. I forgot to turn on these cute lights. But this is my mirror. I took this mirror from my house as well. I'm pretty sure this is Home Goods or Target. I wrapped it with some LED lights and it looks pretty cute. This is where I get ready every day. So yeah, that's my house. So that is the end of my tour. I know you guys can't really see like my Gobi lights and how they really change the vibe of the whole place. It really helps set the mood when I can just change the colors of the lights. So I know you can't really see that because it's daytime right now, but trust me, it looks cool. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it for my apartment tour. I don't have anywhere else to show you guys. That's my whole entire apartment. This is where I live. I'm really happy and thanks to you, I get to live here. So please, 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 please hit the subscribe button. It would make my little heart very, very happy. Hit the thumbs up button as well. And like I said, check the description box if you want to find, you know, anything in my apartment. I'll try my best to list literally everything I can down in the description box below. Let me know what your favorite part of my apartment was. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what your favorite room or your favorite part of my apartment was. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Peace.